Step into a universe of magically inclined fish. This is our preview of Last Fish. Last Fish is a player elimination game about a world of magical fish battling each other. And this felt a lot like a dungeon crawler where you have your character, you're collecting all this loot, and then you're battling the enemies. The enemies being the other players. It's a fun take that style game set in a fish-tastic fantasy world. And we'll tell you all about it after this quick how to play. Last Fish is played over a series of turns until there is only one player left standing. On each player's turn, they will draw and reveal an encounter card, which is a random event that players will have to deal with. Then the player can take several actions, including playing spells, instants, and a curse card. And then they can play either an item or an attack card. Players will use attack cards to try and wound their opponents, trying to remove all three of their starting health points. Players have the option of not playing any cards and instead drawing cards from the deck. Players continue taking turns until all but one player has been eliminated. The player that's left standing wins. We were given a copy of Last Fish so that we could do this preview video. If you'd like to find out more information or back the game on Kickstarter, check out the links in our description below. And before you swim off, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. All your likes and subscribes really help us build our channel. Last Fish is a player elimination game, so if you've played other games of that genre, then you could be well versed and ready to play this game. What's new about this game is the world building. So the world of these catfish that a wizard came and turned into like half catfish, half hybrid things that are now magical and they're battling each other. That's the world that Last Fish is building. That's the world of whiskers. That's what these things are called. They're called whiskers. So each player is going to get their own champion. You're going to start off with three health points and then you've got to battle each other. You can add item cards to your character so that you can protect yourself. Other players can add item cards to protect themselves. You gotta remove those items, you gotta attack the players, you gotta get rid of their health points, and you gotta be the last player standing. I think the artwork on the card is great. You know, you have these like fantasy style, you know, like, I mean, this is a strike, but it's a little swirl and you got a sword. You got like this blast here that's happening. So I'm a big fan of this type of artwork. I will admit when I saw the title of the game and then when we started like looking at the cards before like getting into the lore or the story, I was like, what is that? Is that a hamster? Is that a... Is that a, just a funny way to draw a cat? Couldn't be a hamster, because how does Last Fish come into play? <laughs> I don't know. A couple things ran through my mind, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's the story. So the artwork is great. There's flavor text to help build the lore, but then also it's just a fun player elimination game. So you're gonna have your champion. You're gonna have lots of cards. There's a huge variety of cards that you can use to attack other players. They can do one hit damage, two hit damage. There are a lot of instant cards. So if you're being attacked, you can block certain things or send the attack back at them. A lot of similar mechanics to other games, other take that style games, even if it's not player elimination. And I really like the lore that they built. I think that they're gonna be able to expand upon that, add expansions, add other games in the same world kind of a thing. So I can see this being the jumping off point to a much larger collection of games and things in this world. One thing that got me, that always gets me, are just unique pieces, right? So this is like a, a little heart. It's a little hard, I think it's like rubbery. It just reminds me of uh, like Zelda. Any of the Zeldas you played where you have your heart gauge and it's like if you get hit, maybe you lost like a quarter or whatnot. Just kind of remind me that it's sitting there right in front of you and you're like, I've got to protect it. <laughs> So this game has two different options. You're gonna have the last fish, which is the box, which is the complete game, all the cards that you need. But in this box are these heart cards. So when you buy just that small box, you gotta get the heart cards, which you can keep track of your health points with. When you get the big box, the Book of Pond edition, you're gonna get this nice player mat, neoprene player mat. You're gonna get the hearts that Lee was talking about, the cool little hearts to keep track of stuff. And then you're gonna get a couple other goodies with it too. So I definitely think that if you're really into this, you wanna play the lore, you like the cool pieces like Lee does, you want the nice player mat, you gotta check out the Book of Pawns edition, not just the regular box edition. For the cards that you can play, there is kind of a color coding system. Like this blue, I believe, is like a curse. It also has a symbol, so you know too. Green is a heal, red's attack, and then yellow or orange is your items that you're equipping onto your champion. I mean, yeah, there is some reading, but if someone's sitting across the table from you, you'll know if they play a color, you'll be like, oh, okay, he's not attacking, or oh, he's doing this, so. And then eventually when they get around to it, it's like, okay, uh, target yourself or another player, heal one target if possible. Could help the game move along a little bit more, so you're not like there in anticipation, like, oh, do I, 
can I defend? Should I defend? I don't know. Because of the fun fantasy world with all the cool characters and the game mechanics not being too difficult, I think younger kids can play this game, but there is some reading. So I don't want to say super young can play, but I want to say that young kids will play this game. And if they're already playing Unstable Unicorns or Exploding Kittens, those types of games, then they'll definitely get to like this game. Overall, as far as player elimination games go, I like you get a champion, I like you build up the champion, and then you can kind of battle and defend yourself. The deluxe edition, having the hearts, was cool. I really had fun and the artwork is definitely on point for me. Overall, I really enjoyed this game. It's a lot of fun for a player elimination game. It reminds me of other games we played. I like this lore, it's kind of a fun lore. As Lee said, he didn't really know what it was at first, but when you start reading it, you're like, oh, we didn't know what it was because it's new and original. And I like new and original. And I think that this is definitely something they should check out and add it to your collection. And that was our preview of Last Fish. What'd you think? Are you ready to catch yourself a copy of Last Fish? Let us know in the comments below. And if you'd like to find out more information or back this game on Kickstarter, check out the links in our description below. And if you're enjoying our content, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, I'm Lee. And I'm Kenny. I go party like a board gamer.